Luppet, VC Face, Wakadu, and 310. Out of all four of these pieces of software, which one's the best? Well, we're gonna go through each piece of software, see how well they run on the computer themselves, and well, the positive and negative size of each said software that I have personally experienced setting up myself. My name is Anubis Lives. I am your VTuber Senpai. On this YouTube channel, I upload every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. On here, we also cover anything and everything VTubing and soon to be VR related. So, if you happen to like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos. And well, subscribe. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. So if you don't mind helping me out with that, that'd be great. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is test out each piece of software on our system individually and do a side by side comparison on how they ran. Now, as a disclaimer, we all have different pieces of hardware out there. Very unlikely we're all going to have the exact same RAM, exact same motherboard, processors, so on and so forth. So results will definitely vary from one computer to another, but this will give you a general idea of how it's gonna run on your particular PC. Now, all these pieces of software are free except for Luppet, but Luppet does have a demo that you can install and try, but I do recommend that you do install all those pieces of software, links for those down below, and, and definitely give it a shot and see what you like the most. So with Luppet, with our up, down, left, right test, we see that it uses around less than 7% of the CPU resources and about a gig of memory, which isn't really too bad. And it's not really a huge strain on your computer. With VC face, we're using almost double the amount of CPU, but 300 megabytes less on RAM usage. With Wakuru, we can see it's using roughly 14 to 17% of the CPU usage, but around 600, 650 for RAM. With 310, we see that it uses 6 to 7% for CPU, but a whopping 1.2 to 1.4 gigabytes of RAM, which is an extreme amount. Now that we've gone through all four pieces of software, what do you feel like came out on top? Leave a comment down below your thoughts on which piece of software that was. Now for CPU usage, for sure. Yes, Luppet came out on top, but Luppet is also 60 to $80, depending on your currency, where VC face is free. Yes, it uses 12 to 13, maybe 14% of CPU usage, but it uses 300 megabytes less RAM. Now, when we're gaming and whatnot, CPU is definitely one of those huge things. The more you can spare, the better. But in this case, I really feel like the extra percentage on CPU is well worth it for VC face. The $60 isn't enough for me to really care about 6% of CPU. Now with 310 and Wakadu, 310 uses far, far too much RAM. 1.4 gigabytes is just, it's, it's an extreme amount. Wakadu using almost 20% of CPU, way too high. Until those developers get those resources lower, I'd say steer clear from them and stick with VC face or Luppet. Before we start the software comparison portion, did you know I stream at twitch.tv forward slash Anubis lives? You should come on by, say hi. I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So uh, let, let, let's hang out, talk about anime, gaming, all that fun stuff. All right, let's get back into it. Now, I'm not gonna set up each piece of software in this particular video. I do have each piece of software. Again, link in the description down below or on the note card that appears up above. Uh, you could check out those videos for sure. I'm just gonna give you guys a, a brief just of what my thoughts were for setup with these different pieces of software. Setting up Luppet was actually really nice, simple, and easy to do. It gives you lots of different options a lot of different settings that you can potentially play with different things you could set up it's all in all a fantastic program the only really pain in the butt thing is the green screen but most programs are going to have a green screen it's honestly like a 10 to 20 second setup a filter in obs you add your chroma key then you're done other than that it's honest to god 
an amazing program. It's perfect in almost every single way, but at the end of the day, you are spending $60 for a program that a lot of pieces of software can do the same thing and a little bit more for free. VC Face, the one program I'm gonna advocate a lot for. Honestly, right off the bat, they give you a nice, simple, easy to use tutorial. The expression detection is phenomenal. You can set it up, it'll track your face really, really well. You can change the sensitivity. There's so much options in this free piece of software. It blows my mind on how much care and thought the creator of the software put into it. It is honestly shocking that we don't have to pay for this software. It's just so good. It has a checkered background, so you don't have to add any filters. You just gotta add it to OBS, change your size a little bit, forget it, and just you just go. It's fantastic. I highly, highly, highly recommend this piece of software. Very simple to set up, very simple to use, and it, it's just great all the way around. 310A is a pretty decent program. The first hurdle you're gonna have when you first open it up is that it's gonna be in a different language. You gotta set it into English. It isn't very, very intuitive like Leopard or VC Face is. You do have a little bit more options where you can change the background. You can open the face tracking application to see how exactly it's tracking your face, which is actually pretty cool. The Leap Motion setup inside of it was pretty simple and easy as well. Uh, other than that though, it it is a bit of a pain in the butt because you gotta set up your own camera angles. You gotta save them. You gotta make sure they save and open every time you open the application. Other than that though, the program is actually pretty solid. Like I've mentioned prior though, it does eat up a lot of resources and I feel like it eats up a lot of resources because it has a lot of extra stuff that you really aren't going to use or really don't need. But other than that, it's a very, very solid program. Okay, so the last one on the list is Wakadu. Now, Wakadu was a very simple and easy program to set up. Pretty intuitive, not that hard. But unfortunately, it lacks a lot of basic features like importing your VRM model. Not only does Wakadu not have the ability to import a VRM, but you can't even save the settings inside the program, which means every time you open up the program, you need to reset up everything from scratch. Other than that, it does have a very, very innovative webcam hand tracking software, which if the creator comes back and is able to fix the import, the saving, and this hand tracking software, this could be potentially a huge game changer on the market. This could really crush all of its competitors. But like I said, it appears to be abandoned by its creator. And unfortunately, it does not look like it will be coming back or fixed anytime soon. Out of all four pieces of software, I personally feel like VC Face is actually probably the best out of all of them. It's always up to date, very intuitive, very simple to use. If the expression detection is is just out of this world. I feel it's really, really, really good and worth your time, honestly. So what's your thoughts? Leave a comment down below on what piece of software you use. Is it Luppet, VC Face, Wakadu 310, or something different? Again, my name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So come on by, say hi, and well, We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.